right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing my Valentine's tablescape today. Uh, usually, I do it around the day before Valentine because I just put it on. The, I just display it for Valentine's Day only. But I'm going to do it a little earlier just to give you some inspiration as to how you might want to make your Valentine's table. But I'm going to be doing it in three colors. And that's going to be red, gold, and white. And I'm going to set just my small breakfast table up with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my coffee bar. I'm not going to do a lot of uh, different changes in it. I'm just going to refresh it with some items that uh, is needed right now. And I just want to show it to you again. I did buy some new cups that I will share with you that I'm going to put out on display to uh, just change up a little bit. But those are the two things. Also, while I'm going to be doing that, my husband and my son will be putting up a new TV in the man cave. And I may bring you in there for a minute just to see what they're doing. Uh, but that's going to be my um, items for today. And I want you to be with me. Thanks. Okay, guys, before I start decorating my Valentine table, I wanted to share something with you. I am making DIY type um, table uh, napkin rings. And um, I, I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money for uh, napkin rings like I usually do. Um, I, so I decided to make some little napkin rings just for Valentine's Day uh, out of some uh, yarn and I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought these they can they come four in a pack <clears throat> and I used two already because I've made two but I, I got two more I want to make with you so you can see how you can make them at home yourself if you want to just do a little quick change of napkin rings for a special occasion uh, a one day type of deal or something different so I'm going to make these with you today and I'm using my satin napkin uh, napkins and we're going to I'm going to show you how I made these little simple uh, rings for my napkins.
Okay, I'm going to decorate the table with the gold placemats, the uh, red chargers, red and white dishes, and uh, the centerpieces, red and white. And those are my colors. So I want you to watch as I decorate for Valentine's Day. Okay, here's the finished product for my Valentine's Day tablescape. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching it uh, as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in two versions. One in the light with the, the light on and one when I turn off the light and put the candles on. So if you want to have a really nice romantic dinner on Valentine's Day, you can do it by candlelight. So I wanted to show you both versions of it. Okay guys, we're in my uh, coffee bar area and I want to do a little refresh on some things in this area. Uh, not too many, but a few things. Uh, just do a little bit of a refresh and I want you to see it. I bought some new mugs uh, from Ross uh, and I paid uh, I think $7.99 for them uh, and they are just a clear creamy color mug kind of matching what was going on uh, for the winter to go match in my uh, family room, the cream colors. So I bought some mugs and I'm going to change out some of the ones I have. Um, I bought um, some uh, creamer 
I like to fill up in my creamer here. I have a creamer here and I like to keep it filled with that. I bought some more coffee uh, to put in this, this uh, on this coffee station right here. I'm gonna fill that up. And then I bought candy. I love to keep candies in the house for when the children come over or my husband or son or anyone who wants candy. And then I'm gonna try to refill these these things here with some French French vanilla and some uh, hazelnuts. And I'm gonna take out these cups and change some things around here. So I'm not gonna do a lot today, but I kind of want you to be there when I when I make a few little changes in this area, uh, especially up here. Uh, I did make some changes. I I put my mugs that I travel and I got this one was from Washington D.C. Uh, it's the National Museum of African American History Culture and Culture, and I I went to Washington D.C. and went to that museum. And it was very nice. Uh, and, and I went to New York uh, to with one Vanderbilt, the Summit uh, building. And this is the mug I bought. I like to do a collection of mugs. So when I go out of town, I like to bring something back. I just started, so I don't have a big collection right now because I have traveled. Uh, pretty extensively, but I have not brought mugs home. So I just started doing it. So this is one. This is uh, one from Hawaii. Uh, I recently brought this back. I couldn't find a lot of pretty mugs at the time, but I did get one that says Hawaii on it. And uh, this is another time I went to New York uh, and I brought back this mug. And, and this is another one from New York when I traveled to New York. Some friends of mine gave me a... And the friend of mine gave me this mug and it says, God is with her, she will not fall. And that's Psalms 46 and 5. And the other friend gave me this mug and it says, when you saw only one set of footprints, my child is when I carry you. And I thought that was so nice that they thought of me enough to give me such nice mugs. Uh, so th that's my collection right now of mugs. And I also like colorful mugs. And I've been having these up here for a while, but I'm gonna change them out a little bit and put the, uh, the uh, stone mugs up for, at least for this winter. And then maybe during the summer again, I'll put up the uh, colorful mugs because I, I, I like colorful mugs to drink coffee or tea out of. And here I have my creamer, sweetener, and sugar. And I keep them filled for uh, mostly when visitors come over, my brother or some other relative come over, and they ask, where's the sugar? Where's the cream? It's right here where they can use it when they finish uh, making their coffee. So I kind of keep that going on, uh, filling that up, and I'm going to uh, keep it full. Um, there is uh, my canister here. I keep straws for my grandchildren and I keep um, spoons to stir your coffee. And sometimes I put little candies in the front of here for when Ava, my youngest granddaughter, comes over because she's always looking for something sweet. Those are there. So some of the, that's some of the things I'm going to be changing up uh, here in my coffee bar area. And the, um, just make it a little bit different. So not too much changes, but I'm going to be moving it on and off.
Okay, here's the finish clean up refresh of the coffee bar for the winter. Uh, I did a few little touches, not many changes, but just a real refresh. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and give me some comments. I really need to hear from you to know if you really like this, there's anything I could do better, or you can give me some suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. moved over into the man cave just to give you a little glimpse of them putting up the new TV. It's a Samsung 85 inch TV and my son and my husband is putting it up. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching. May God bless you. May God keep you. Till we can see each other again.